Hello and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Mohammed and today I'll be showing you how to make this desktop background that I've made in Adobe Photoshop. It's really simple to do and it doesn't really require the latest version of Adobe Photoshop. You can even make this in CS4, CS5 and CS6. So let's go ahead and get started by opening up Photoshop. And when Photoshop opens up, you want to go ahead and go into File, New and select your Width and Height. I'm going to work with 1200 by 960. But 960 by 960 would work as well. A square or a rectangle. Click OK. In here, select your text tool and type in cool. Well, you can type in whatever text you want. Uh, but I'm going to select the background to be black. Uh, black. Yeah. Now, so I can see my text in white. Uh, you can change this color later on. So just work with this for now. Now go ahead and go into view, new slice. Sorry, new guide. Select 50% vertically. Click OK. Make another new guide which is 50% horizontally. This will help you to identify the center point of this canvas. So when you've centered your text, go back into the text tool, click on your text, and select the text wrap. In here, select bulge. And I like to use the default settings, but you can also use other settings and get loads of different types of results. So you can play around with that and see what other cool things you can come up with. Click OK and just click the tick. Now go ahead and duplicate this layer, right click and duplicate and click OK. Once you've duplicated it, hide your first layer and work with your second one. So after you've selected your second layer, go into Filter, Distort and Polar Coordinates. And it'll, it'll show you a warning that it'll no longer be a text, but never mind, click OK. In here, select Polar to Rectangular, rectangular. click OK. Now go into image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise, select that, filter, stylize, wind. You want to select the default settings, but you want to choose from left, you want the, blow, the wind to blow from the left. Click OK and you'll get something like this. This is not enough for us, so we're going to hold down control and press F once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Uh, until you're satisfied with your result, you can pr keep pressing Control F. I'm satisfied with this. So once you've done this, go into Image, Image Rotation, 90 degrees counterclockwise. This will bring it back to upside down. Now go on Filter, Distort, and Polar Coordinates. And now you choose the rectangular to polar. Click OK, and now you get this type of result. Now, if you go ahead and hide your first layer, you'll see, you can see the outline. So if you go ahead and double click on your first layer, go on gradient, and you, you can see that it's coming into shape now. So click select the gradient and choose your gradient color. Uh, I'm going to go with this one that I've made. That looks pretty cool. Click OK. Now, depending on how many times you do the distort, you'll see that these will start to go out of place a little bit, but we can always rub them off and put them back into place, which we'll do in a few minutes. After you've selected your color, you can also select stroke, which gives it a quite cool effect if you go into white. So it makes it stand out a bit more, and it also covers up some of the corners. And after you've done that, click OK. Now, it doesn't really have much depth, the 3D. It's just plain white, maybe a little bit there. But we're going to add a little bit of depth to this. By selecting the second layer, go in and choose Inner Shadow. This will give you a little bit more of a 3D, 3D effect, or you can choose Drop Shadow, which doesn't work actually. Never mind. So Inner Shadow, or you can play around with Stroke and other stuff, but I'm going to go with Inner Shadow and click OK. So now we have Shadow. Now we're going to work with the background. Double click on your background to turn it into a new layer. Click OK. Double click on your layer again your background layer and it will show you the layer styles. Now from here choose gradient, choose radial, select your gradient that you'd like to keep. I'm going to go with a light blue and a dark blue. And you want to, don't align it to layer but scale it up a bit. And there you have it. 
You can either, you can also make a new layer, put it right on top, select it, with, fill it up with black, go and filter, render, lens flare, and you can also render a lens flare. Uh, choose yours and just choose an angle you'd like to do it from. Click OK. Once you have that, change the layer mode to screen. And now you have a lens flare which you can place somewhere around your your screen. Or you can just place it behind the text. So if you click, um, if you drag it underneath it, you'll have that in the background. Now select the rubber tool, make it a little bit bigger. Bring the hardness down, a little bit more bigger. Yeah. And just rub off the sharp edges. Now there you have it. And that's pretty much it from this tutorial. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please leave, click the like button and also subscribe to my channel for other cool tutorials heading your way.